Hello and welcome to my video. I am Manaburn and this time we are playing in the LVL. Uh, it is the fourth season and we are in the week sixth. Um, we are playing against Battlenut CEO and I am Manaburn. Um, uh, in this squad we are play we have a um, fully uh, almost Almost fully the deaf Dondoso with an impish nature with curse and a rocky helmet. We are bringing a Terra Electric Choice Specs Regieleki, uh, timid in order to outrun uh, plus one Iron Valiant. We are running a very the deaf Stella although it does have some fist as well, to check Lando as well as Valiant. Valiant. Um, we got Arcanine, um, which is very fistef, in order to check a Mega Caesar and Cinderace. Uh, then we got a mixed, uh, but more specially bulky, um, Hatterin to bounce hazards as well as check like a Gudra. And finally, a choice band Miauskarada, uh, just to cover for against the Yuxi, a little bit against the Lando, as well as some form of speed control. Um, and looking at their team, this Hatterin has a lot of value. Um, I, I expect the Klefki to either set up screens or some sort of hazard. Um, I personally think that this Miauskarada is just a solid lead. Because, like, against the Klefki like this, I can just go hard Hatterin. I don't want them to, like, prankster Thunderwave. No, wait, they can't prankster Thunderwave. Alright, so they're magic. Alright, so they're magic coat. Well, unlucky for them, I don't really. I'm not, re I'm not here to set hazards this time around. But this is a very free. Mystical fire, I think. Not really sure what they're going to do, but I do want some chip damage. All right, they go land though. That's perfect. So we get to see. Oh, all right, leftovers. Okay. So this should be like a spidef bulk gear set. Landorus. Um, Mystical Fire did 20, did so little. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're a spidef. You are very spidef. Um, I just want chip on this, like you can knock off I guess. But is that really good for you? Like, I don't really need... Like, th this Hatterin has a lot of usefulness on this rely. Like, I want to ship this anyways for my Regieleki. Besides, you're gonna knock, right? Not a straining kiss. Okay. Why would you terrestrialize Perry? I don't understand. Okay. Um, interesting. So this Lando could either terrestrialize flying or terrestrialize fairy um, for this game. Um, the plan was originally to have uh, Regieleki bait it out and then just switch out and hope that it will terra fairy because now like it doesn't have a ground immune uh, an, an electric immunity uh, where you're just gonna ha hail fire from above. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's actually gauge that damage. Uh, a drain encased, and we did get a critical hit. 22 to 26. Yeah, yeah, it's offensive. An offensive in the race. Uh, my dozo does very little against anything else, so I'm just gonna go to 
Very well. Um, I can curse, and curse is fine, but it's not gonna. Eh. It's not gonna be in the market. Like this is like a very. This is just. All right. So you're protective paths, eh? That explains the magic of the Klefki. Maybe your core changed too. I wonder. Well, if we calc our baby dead on Toso versus like the Specs Valiant, and then let's look at the Grass Knot. <laughs> 89 max. <laughs> it's a roll not in my favor. <laughs> okay. I'll go Hatter in here. Okay. So I'm just like trying to figure out the best way to crack this shell. Mm. So your U-turn, your grass knot. Um, maybe let's say your stealth rocks on the Uxie. And what's your final move? Defog, defog to avo avoid rocks. Such a weird step, man. Um, I'll drain and kiss. All right. Super. Okay. Um. I'm just saying. I guess I can mystic on fire. This works too. Alright, so now we know you're set. And you cannot touch Celestila. That's really good info. We can just drain and kiss here. To just ditch it, right? And so like you can like Terra Blast here if you like if he wants to. But like I get the call mind and I'm not sure this is good for him. Um uh, 
because he gets shit. And I don't really need this Hatterin, actually. I don't need it as much as maybe he thinks I do. I guess it does sponge some hits from the Valiant, but still, still already does that. Assuming. And this is like the freest protect, I think. And we actually gained health, all in all. So like... I would like to keep this Arcanine healthy, actually. What do you do now? I mean, I'm just going to... That's liquidation. I would like to be able to do a bit more with this than those, so it's not going to be doing much with the... You learn Grass Knot, don't you? Let's see. Let's have a check. Mag use. You learned Grass North, you probably learned Thunderbolt as well. Um, maybe a Will O Wisp here. Good Willow. I think I'd. Um, but I feel like Miascarada is okay. Like, I'm okay with this getting burnt. But yeah, you just go for Thunderbolt. That's great. And I get to knock off here. I get to knock something off. That's great. No Mega Scissor. Yeah. Let's just knock off, knock something off. And we're just setting up, we're trying to set up for the, uh, for the Regilecki. Uh, let's go Hatrin here. I just don't want him to set up spikes or... Anything cheeky like that. Uh, we can make a calc in the meanwhile. Let's check. Um, Miascarada versus Kletki. Knock off 25 to 30. It did 30. So this is probably like max the death. Oh, great. You got me. Um. I mean, I'll just go Celestina. Okay. Like, he's making all these pivot moves, but he's not making very much progress, is he? Like, I can just. Let this don't also die, honestly, if I have to. No, let's rest here. And he does he does not seem to have any sort of recovery on that Cinderace, so like we're just waiting to slip to chip it down slowly. Slowly but surely. It would have been amazing if we had teleport on the Arcanine right now. But I run, I'm running extreme speed because just the Valiant scares me a little bit more. Ooh, that's unlucky. Uh, unfortunate, bro. I wanted that kill, honestly. Would not really have killed though, but mm, unfortunate still. So, um, I 
I don't really need this though, so do I? It's only... I mean, I guess it is kind of good against Valiant, but I can barely... I think I just want to stay in and split talk, honestly. Yeah. There's a big... There's also a chance that you just U-turns as well. Um... You go Valiant, okay. Your booster energy. Great. Oh! Oh! That did nothing! Is that a usual... Valiant? Or is that like a bulky set? Uh... Dozo... Or is it Valiant? Um... No, you're kinda bulky. I mean, this max HP. 252. Is this like a max defense value? Like a very defensive one? Yeah. Your max fist death. That's super weird. Uh, so, like, you can go for like a Thunderbolt, Moonblast. I'm not sure if I need this Hatherin for anything in particular. I kinda like to just go with this. Ow. And uh, no, just bring in kiss. That's fine. I just Yeah, you wanna dust the moon for this hat? I mean I guess, I guess. Um, I don't mind, I think. I don't think, like, how are you gonna stop my mons? Um, However, I would like to keep this. <laughs> now I know you're not a very threatening Valiant. So, I'm just gonna Flare Blitz. Okay, you go Miss Mag. Alright, are you sacking this or...? Um... Mm-hmm. Can I go steal out? What are you planning, Mr. Nut? Yeah, you U-turn. Great. And I'm substituting here. And then we just leech in. No! That's unfortunate. So, let's see. How many times have I used Sleep Talk? I have used it. Uh, if we go from the beginning, missing U turn, draining kiss, bomb dozo. Terminus, remaining draining kiss, pirate ball. Rest, sleep talk. Alright, so I think I have one more sleep talk in me. Yeah. Hey, we got the Valiant, that's amazing. 
And I just get the ghost deal again. Yeah, and like, he's running out of options here. So like, now I get to substitute. And I wonder how he's gonna get out of this one. Oh, oops. Nice. Well, I'll just flame throw her down. Oh, and that's unlucky. I'm sorry, bro. Well, I'm heavy slamming now. And now we get to reach it. And we just get to sub again and it's just over. Gonna stop this or what? GG! And we won! And it's a 6 0! And that's how you do it! Um, thank you all for watching! Enjoy your day! Bye!